Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag because I love watching these kind of things, seeing what people are recommending and what they use every day. So I'm going to be doing that today. But let me know if you want me to do a makeup routine using the products in my makeup bag so I can show you how I use them. So let me know down below if you want to see that. And yeah, for today's video, let's get into seeing what's in my makeup bag. So I recently bought a new makeup bag from Sostre and Green. I think that's how you say it, but I'll put it on the screen here. But I wanted something from this brand for so long. So when I went in and I thought, oh, I really need a new makeup bag. They had so many of these like in different um, colours and patterns. And I just thought this one suited me perfectly. So I got that and it's such a good size as well. And it was only £7.95 and I absolutely love it. It's got a cute little tassel for the zip and it's got the little logo down here yeah let's be getting to what's in the makeup bag on the inside it's a nice little pink salmon color and it's got a cute little pocket which is where i just keep like the little clips when i do my hair first thing is this refi brush which i absolutely love i use this every single day so i use this side for like a bronzer so it's a really fluffy brush so it blends out things like a dream and then i use this end for blush which i think is a really nice brush to use because it's such like a um it's such a nice size i think the ones that i used to use in the past were quite big and it would just put it everywhere but this is a lot more precise and it does blend it out really nice it leaves the product really glowy as well so i absolutely recommend that but i do want to get the new one that they've come out with because that looks really good for a concealer and i'd love to try their new concealer as well but yeah that is my favorite brush right now the next thing is just an eyelash curler so i'm not too sure where this one's from i think it might be from sheen but it's just an easy simple eyelash curler and then i do have this eyebrow kit from collection which i've had for a while now but none of the colors really suit my eyebrows or hair so i do need to look for a better one because i do currently use the brown one in the middle which as you can see it's got kind of like red undertones so it doesn't really suit my hair but then this one's too light and this one's too dark so i do need to find a better one and I did have a good colour for my brows in like a eyebrow, in like an eyeshadow palette a while ago. And I'm not wanting to go out and buy an entire new eyeshadow palette just to do my eyes because I only use powder. But please recommend me some good like eyebrow shades and colours that will go nice with my hair because I do struggle to find ones that suit my hair and the next thing is my favorite mascara so this is the maybelline new york sky high mascara which is the best like i used to use i think it was lash sensational i think it's also by maybelline i did used to use them but this is just so much better like i love how buildable it is it makes the lashes really long and you can see a visible difference from each eye but i do definitely need a new one of these because it has gone pretty dry but i think this is the second one i bought now but i'm definitely going to be purchasing that again because it is the best mascara i think but for concealer i did get sent these a couple of months ago but without a doubt the best concealer i have ever used i've been told to say that in this video by the way but genuinely best concealer i've used purely because the shade match is great for me and I normally struggle to find ones that suit my skin tone. It's either way too pale or very orange, but these are perfect. So I use the shade 125C first, just like as a layer. And then I do the brightening with 100C and this one's obviously a bit lighter this is the fenty beauty we're even concealers and they are just perfect they blend out like a dream like a few of the concealers i've used in the past it takes quite a bit of blending to get it to look like your skin but this is literally within seconds like a few taps and it's in it's so buttery and smooth 
I just, I'm obsessed with them. Now for blush, I am wearing a mixture of the two today, which I think looks really nice together. But it's these two blushes from Merit Beauty. And I think the packaging is so unique. Like I haven't seen blushes like this. I mean, I could be absolutely wrong, but personally, I haven't seen blushes like this. They're in this really cute dome. We take the top off and it's in this really cute dome shape. So you can either swipe it across your cheek or I just go in with my refined brush, dip it in and then put it on the cheeks. But I just think in terms of like application and that, it's perfect, like you can use it in different ways. And I have shade Stockholm and Beverly Hills. And I just put Beverly Hills down first, it's a lot more of a warmer shade. And then I put Stockholm on top, which is a bit of a cool shade. I just like the mixture of the two. I think they look really nice, but yeah, I definitely recommend those because they're really, really creamy too. And they're very, very buildable. From Mary Beauty, I also have their glow stick. I think that's what it's called. It's their Day Glow Highlighting Balm. I've got it in cover and it's really nice champagne color. And it's just a little stick that you put on your cheek and then just blend out with the finger and look how glowy that is and I literally did not put a lot on at all but I also pop it on the end of my nose you can put it anywhere really but it's just so nice and so creamy and buttery for eyebrow gel I do use this got to be eyebrow gel and even though I do really like it I think I need to start slicking it both ways because my brows do move during the day but because I use concealer and that beforehand, I tend to not put this all over my brows and just kind of go like this with it because otherwise the concealer will come off. But I did used to do my brows first, so I might have to go back to doing that again because the brows do move and everyone does say that this doesn't budge their brows, so maybe I'm using it wrong. So I think I'm gonna have to go through both ways to try and make it stay a bit better but i do like it it is nice but my brows aren't really very thick and they don't really keep them in place that well but i think i'm gonna have to change the way that i use it and just try and slip them in both directions and just see if that works but it is a good one i do like it now for bronzer i definitely want to buy like a proper bronzer I would love to try the Refi one because that looks really nice and it is like a cream and I think it would go really nice with this brush but at the moment I literally just use this Hoola bronzer tester thing that I got ages ago because it lasts forever and I just used that and put it on but I do think I want to start using a cream because that is the only powder for the base that I use so I think because I use cream blush, I should be using cream bronzer. So I do want to try the Refile one, but let me know if there's any cream bronzers that you really like, because I'd love to hear what other people like. And, and yeah, obviously it's got to be quite cool toned because I am pale. And a lot of bronzers that I've used before are very orange. And this isn't that bad. It's not too bad. It is kind of got a cool undertone. I mean it does what I need it to do so no complaints now most of the time I don't really powder purely because I just think my skin looks a bit better glowy as opposed to dry but if I do go in with a bit of powder I do use the Maybelline 50 powder just because it does exactly what I need it to it does last throughout the day and yeah it doesn't make me crease either so if I am looking, I will probably wear a bit of powder on warmer days just so that I'm not like sweating. But on days where it's just a bit more gloomy like today, I'm just gonna wear it glowy because I think it just looks a bit better. Now getting down to the last few things. If I don't use this or it runs out, or if I just want something that's a bit more out there, I would use the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. And it's in this really nice tube. I love the packaging of this. It's so nice. And it's got a lot more of a thicker bristle brush. Which I think is good for really thick lashes. 
and if you want them to be really dark as well. So I don't use that every day purely because I do like to just have kind of more natural. But yeah, this is definitely good for if we're going on a night out, you want it to last and you want it to be a bit thicker. So I would recommend this because it is really nice. And then last but not least, I do have a few lip products, but I'll probably go and get a couple of the other ones that I do use. But in my actual makeup bag, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude, which I think I need to actually take a picture of this because it's slowly disappearing. And it's like the perfect shade for me. Like, it looks really nice on pale skin. I'm wearing it today. I think it looks really, really nice. So this I'm definitely going to be repurchasing 100%. And then for lipstick, which I don't normally wear lipstick a lot, but I've been kind of... I don't like go like this with it, I just kind of dab it on, just so it's got a bit of the colour. But I use this Merry lipstick in shade Baby, it's a signature lip. And again, I absolutely love the packaging of this, it is so cute. And this is also a really nice shade. I'll just pop some on there so you can see the shade of it. But it's so glowy it's really buttery smooth and i think it really complements this lip liner well so this combo for me perfect i absolutely love this combo now i've just got a couple of other things from my makeup desk which i didn't mention but setting spray i use this wee sherry from the beauty crop absolutely love this no complaints keeps my makeup glowy all day which is what i really want and it smells so nice. Like I'm obsessed with this. This is so nice. I remember when it went viral on TikTok, I think it was last year or the year before, probably two years now. But I'm so glad that I got this. And this is definitely one that I've purchased a few times since. And then lastly, for more lip products, I've got this Refi lip gloss, which is my favorite lip gloss. I think it is so nice. So I've just got this in the clear color got a really nice applicator it's like this silver like cold angled applicator which I think just glides across the lips so nicely got such a nice shine I'll put some on for you now so that you can see but look how nice that is it makes the lips literally look like glass I just think Refi do lip products so well. And then the other two are again Refi. These are lip liners. So I've got them in taupe and I've got it in rosewood. And these are really cool applicators as well. So they've got this really thin applicator. But also, if we pop that back on and we turn it around and unscrew it that way, you do have this at the end, which is like a setter for the lip liner. So you put that all over the lip liner and your lip liner will stay all day. And it is so true. Like I thought, surely not, but it does. It's so good. You just put this on and I also feel like it kind of moisturizes the lips as well. Like it's just, it makes your lips so soft. When you eat, drink, throughout the day when you get to the end of the day it's still there even without the setter on it just lasts it's so good so that is everything that's in my makeup bag and things that i use every day please do let me know down below in the comments if you want to see a makeup video just of me using those products and how i do my makeup like this i think i really enjoy doing makeup videos i think they're so fun and i love watching other people do them as well but yeah that is everything for today's video let me know what else you guys would like to see i think i am going to do another haul soon i know that all of you guys love the hauls so i think i'm going to be doing like a cute summery haul things that you should buy for summer things that i've been wearing a lot because now it's june even though the weather is not like june should be but i think i will just show you some really cool and cute clothes that i've been wearing recently thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you back on this channel very soon